Hi there. Today I'm going to talk about basic Boolean search operators. Now that might sound complicated, but learning to use them can help you narrow or broaden your search when you're using most search engines. You may in fact already be using them. When people talk about Boolean logic, they are referring to the way many internet search engines and directories combine search terms. Using Google as our search engine, we're going to go over a few of them, starting with AND. Using AND narrows a search by combining terms, such as vampires and werewolves. You can see that it will retrieve documents that use both of the search terms that we've specified. Now Google defaults to using AND, so whenever you string a bunch of words together, Google will automatically look for documents containing all of these words. Another is the term OR. Using OR broadens a search to include results that contain either of the words you type in. OR is handy to use when there are common spellings or synonyms of a word. For example, Another trick is to wrap the specific phrase you're searching for in quotation marks in order to find sites with that exact wording. So let's try The Wicked Witch without quotations and you can see that we get a certain amount of results there but let's see if we try it with quotation marks we get a whole nother set of results now in some search engines using the word not will narrow a search by excluding certain search terms but Google recognizes the minus sign so if this instance we type fruit minus bananas, we will get returned documents that contain the word fruit, but not the word bananas. If you think about search terms as variables, it's a little like algebra. If you want to include one term, but you also want to include other possible terms, you can group your search like this. This provides a much better result than if we had tried to search for those words separately or combined with the default AND operator. Regardless of which search engine database we're visiting, using Boolean operators will improve your search results so that you can specifically find what you're looking for in less time and with less hassle. You're certainly not going to hurt anything by jumping right in and using these terms right away, so have fun putting these ordinary words to good use. That's how to use basic Boolean search operators. Bye for now!